Is it worth the waiting for? If we live to 84, all we ever get is gruel. <sighs> Love is, 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 is not, it's not something that I've had a, a great a deal of in life. I can't, it, uh, my imagination of love is, n is not what, it's not what I've had. Every day we say a prayer, will they change the bill of faith, till we get the same old groove? Dear Wayne, it's been a, a pleasure reading your lovely letter. You must be very nice to your teacher and, and do as you are told also to Dad. Now, Wayne, that's one thing. This is the other. You might not understand, but your teacher will be glad to explain. Labour for learning before you grow old. For learning is better than silver or gold. Silver and gold will vanish away, but a good education will never decay. Love to all your friends from mum. To Wayne with love. One, two, three, four, six kisses. On the 19th of September, 1963, I left Jamaica to join my husband here. It's the first time I ever left my family, and it was a, a blow. I cried all the way coming here. I wanted to leave the same day, to, to tur just to turn back. There's not a crumb, not a crust can be found, can be baked, can be borrowed or cared. I came here September. Wayne was born July the following year. As the saying goes, Keith's family, the husband's, my husband's family, told him that Wayne doesn't belong to him because I got pregnant too quick when I came here. I met Wayne in 1996. I didn't know him before, but I'd heard of his name. And um, I think for me, it was an instant, I always say instant attraction. I really, really liked him from, just setting my eyes on him, I really, really liked him. Oh, my family lives in two homes. <laughs> One over the Isle of Dogs, which I live with my three daughters and my partner, and the other one is in Bow, British Street, where my mum lives and my brother. Wayne is very kind. He's got so many friends. If Wayne goes to hell, he knows someone there or someone knows him. No matter where on earth he goes. Someone knows him. And make denial their own. Ah! 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 Ah!
Jamaica, yeah? Three children were um, born in Jamaica. Wayne and Nigel, they were born here. But the children that were born in Jamaica, not just my children, other people's children that were born in Jamaica and came here and meet those that were born here, they are jealous of them. Do you know why? But they're always jealous of them. Very rare. They ain't nothing like it. <laughs> no, one, one, one touch. No, no, no. <laughs> My brother, I love him, but his earlobes, I like earlobes, but he doesn't like me touching his earlobes. No. One touch. No, he just hates it. Please, please. Remind me if I break your knuckles. <laughs> no, don't go get those. Go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, right. No, stop, stop. Means, means like, uh, crying. Like that, literally, pain, pain. But he thought I wanted more. I hated my brother when I was young. When, he, when you're like that and he's like that. I always love Wayne. I love the rest, but he needs more attention than the rest. But still there's nothing to stop us from getting a free when we all close our eyes and imagine. I, I, I fell in love with singing from an early age, really. Um, it, was, it, it was back in, in school. I was picked for a, a play, a Charles Dickens play called Oliver Twist. It, it was a time when I, I'd, be, I'd be in my bedroom, you know, over night time. And it was, it, it was quite dark again because I'd be in my bedroom thinking, like, I hope I don't piss the bed tonight because I know if I piss the bed, it's going to be war in the morning, you know. But I would lay down in my bed and I'd be singing these Oliver Twist songs over and over again. And, and it was like, it was like I, I, I really did enjoy it. it was, I loved it. And... It, it, it was moments like that and times like that that I really realised that I had a, 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 I had a love for singing. I don't know the exact words, but this is what I remember of it. It's like, food, glorious food, art, sausage and mustard, while you're in the mood. And, and, and the funny thing about it was um, that after all the practice of all the rehearsing, the show didn't go on. So. <laughs> food, glorious food. And funny when he sings, he doesn't stutter. Blood punishment, your holy vision is well. He was uh, always the smartest man going, you know what I mean? Always had tools of clubber on, like, you know what I mean? He was a face. Blame Paul, bosh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. All right, bruv, what's happening, Mike? I've been in Roman for 34 years. So I've known Wayne for as long as, as, long as that. Uh, He's been in the area <laughs> longer than the, the <laughs> area's been here. Yeah, you all right, my mate? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm gonna meet you where we said, yeah. Oh, I'll park up there. Sorry. See you in a minute. I see Jack up and coming, yeah. And where I was in life, I was in a place where I was maybe put on a pedal stool. I was a bit high in, you know, I was a bit high in the community. Everybody knew Wayne, especially like in the community. Everywhere we go, oh yeah, I know Wayne Paul. He had a reputation for 
He could handle himself. Yeah, uh, look, it's Tony Martin walking Where up. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm sure that's him. Where is he? No, 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 no. He's a bit too dark. No, 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 that would have been, that would have been lovely. What's going on, Scott? You wouldn't carry on walking up there. You all right, yeah? How's the kids? Too bad, mate. All right, mate, say hello. Wayne, he wasn't an angel. <laughs> he, he was something else. But I tell you what, do you know, he never one day took a penny from a purse? No. You know, it would kill him. Good people like Wayne started experimenting with things, and, and you know, and, and, and like a lot of other people, uh, you know, uh, they went a bit downhill through it, and they suffered a lot, and they went through a lot. If you've heard the saying a Jekyll and Hyde, and that was what Wayne was a Jekyll and Hyde. He'd be very happy, then all of a sudden he'd be like horrible. He could get very like like aggressive. We, we, we were on uh, who's the naughtiest. And who's the artist? And who's going to do this and who's going to do that? That's how we lived at that age, like a lot of these young ones now are living. We fought in the trenches. We went down and we went in. We've lost, we've lost a lot of friends back in the days. Lost a lot of friends over, over alcohol, drink, drugs, even, even in the wrong places at the right time, like fighting, you know what I mean, gunshot, you know what I mean, stabbings and things like that, all, 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 do you know what I mean, all things like this is happening. We try to get our kids from all over the place uh, and, and, and make them never go down the path that Wayne's been down or myself has been down going in and out of prisons and, and whatever and wasting my time in uh, being, uh, you know, uh, you know, not thinking properly, that's it. And now we're thinking properly and now we're on it and we're here to, to help as many people as we can, not to follow the paths that we've gone to. Let off, let off. If you want to let off, let off. Oh, right. Yo, lady shopper, yeah? Look, since I got my heart back from that hole, I've been back to the holes. I know it ain't practical, though. I should focus on my music, going in mad with the flows. But I'm trying to mend my heart, because it's better than broke. Kelly keeps telling me I'm going back to the road, that I don't want to go down, can't snap out of it, though. No. See, the drugs make me feel bitter. I buzz and feel bitter. I wake up throwing up. I don't really feel bitter. Days, I've had bitter. Yeah, a wage, I've had bitter. Yeah, it's like I'm in so much pain. And alcohol is my only medicine to make me better. All right, Tyson. Freak, what's yeah. happening, mate? All right, yeah. All good, yeah. Bless you, man. Yeah, man. Roman Road is my heartbeat. I grew up there. Uh, uh, this is, uh, this is where my childhood was, and I, I, I've known Pepe people for all my life. Uncle Sav has, he has looked after every single body in this Roman road. Do you remember? Every single body. Every oh. single body in this Roman road. The amount of times he's bailed me out of trouble, this man. Roman road is a kind of close-knit, you know what I mean? We keep things close here, you know what I mean? But if we see, like, a friend in need, and we'll try and pull together, pull together and try and help them. Right. I hope it all goes well for you. All right. Thank See you, you very later, much. Son. See you later. Right, Take look, care. Be lucky. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah, be bye lucky. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you too, yeah. Take care. Bye bye. See you later. So I used to come from Bow and used to come from Roman Road. So Roman Road and Bow years ago used to be rivals. But me and Wayne always always got on from from years. So when they just friendship just escalated. We can say we come through. A journey. Yeah. Yeah, but big it was, journey, mate. It, it was messy. Yeah, it's a big journey, mate. It was very, very messy. It's a big journey. I used to box at a club called Repton Boxing Club and I used to get on a number eight bus. As I used to pass, I used to see Wayne used to hang outside a pub called the John Paul. John Ball, sorry. He used to hang outside a the pub there. And um, I always used to pass and I used to see him and I always used to have their garms on. Used to wear like Acro Scoot and Dax. Burberry, you used to see him in Feeler, BJ, all the, all the latest sort of stuff and I was sort of just, because Wayne's a bit older than me, so I used to go go on the bus and I used to look down and used to see him and I used to think, them boys are heavy mate, they're, they're, doing, they're doing things. But I've known a Wayne, Wayne, Wayne years before I even knew him myself personally sort of thing, you know. 
It was it was a big name out there, Wayne. You know, out here is a jungle, and and it is is it's nature of the beast to survive. You know, uh, no matter no matter who or what you are, there's always a means and there's always a way. His father was rough with him. I had to step in on many occasions. He just, he, be, he believes in beating children. I don't. Because my parents never beat us. You know what beating we got? My mother looking at you like this. It's just the way he handled me through life, which was very, very confusing. He was the only one, Wayne, the only one that got the belt. It's not a good way to live when you're a child, neither an adult. <laughs> Living in fear is not a good, a good thing. It, would, it, 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 it will, and it had and it has still left an impact on my life. When I was five, six, and I, I, I began to like stutter, and it, it took its a, a toll on, on me. It, it completely, it completely destroyed me. It's, it's, it's like, it, you know, how long is this gonna last? And and what is it? I don't. I don't, I don't know, you know. Why he started stuttering, no idea. But sometimes children are afraid of something and those things happen. It was like a magnet for other kids to, you know, to, to like come towards me and, 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 and slip in the occasional word or, you know, be like, it, 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 it is like, like he's not normal. It's like I weren't normal. It's like I was just, I, I, yeah, you know, I was an outcast by being a bullied and you know that's when children that I take the Mickey out of you and and I want to be pushing you around and all that you know and it, it was kind of it was horrible. I'm at home and I'm getting grief at home and I'm going to school and I'm getting called an idiot. It's like <laughs> come on, it's like. It seemed like I was getting it from all sides of the globe, so it's, it's been quite confusing. Um, and sometimes he wants to say something and it takes him a long time to get round it. Um, not being able to express certain things and, 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 and certain things being blocked inside of me, you know, it's like a fizzy bottle. If you keep shaking it, and to, to, to and uh, throw to one side, uh, up and down, and then you un undo the lid, that thing's going to explode. And that's what happened to me in the life. I exploded in the end. I couldn't take no more from, I don't care who it is. I just weren't having it. I couldn't take no more. Is that you, Jack? What's going on? 
You alright, yeah? Bless you. Where's down yonder? Gee, you alright, yeah? We were chatting to some kid on the bus, he's from Jamaica, he's born in Jamaica. Yeah, he's only about 12 years old. Yeah, he's, he's 12, I said you'll be a teenager soon. I said, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I don't know. I said, you should have a think about it. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, many kids, you know, many kids of, 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 of like, these days, like today, they want to be gangsters, like I want you to be a gangster. Mm. I'm sure you want you to be a gangster. I wanted to be a policeman, believe it or not. Is it? <laughs> well, do you know what? At, at, at least you had a vision. Yeah, I wanted to be a gangster. Let's have it right. Yeah, yeah, obviously. When you're no, we, 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 we all want to be. I can't know for sure I want you to be. Mm. It, it, it was top of the gender. Yeah. Everything comes to you that way. Yeah, you yeah it's, it's top of the gender. What's up with your dogs, ladies? Have you been training them for Christmas? <laughs> the little one, the little one. <laughs> I've, I've had a many a fight along the way from the people who, who, who used to take the piss out of me and, and bully me. Yeah, I fought every one of them along the way and I've dealt with every one of them along the way. But it's, it's, um, it's when I was about 16, I was, I, 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 I was having an argument with a friend of mine. He still is a, a friend of mine now, but I was having an argument back then. And he was bigger than me, and I was a bit kind of intimidated by him and we had a little disagreement and I switched but when I switched it was like the devil it was like the devil was in me and I, I, I was Petrified because I've just come across something and and someone that I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I was like a raging bull, and that began to generate a reputation. It's spilled out from the playground onto the streets and and, and 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 then it's like school days are over but by this t t time the drink began to fuel this reputation it's like i become a star everybody wants to reach the top but no one ever considers the drop While they're chasing money, power and status Thinking that everything is gonna be greater Hello, you all right, yeah? Good, good, nice to see you. Bye bye. Right. The last time I saw Wayne, I was like 13, 14, and that's when I moved away from the area. You were better to have as a friend than have as an enemy. Because if you were a friend, I knew I could like say, oh, Wayne, so-and-so has done that, and I knew, bang, you'll be on it straight away like that. It was a bit of a scarier Wayne back then. Yeah, all right. Cool. Yeah, man. Spit, man. Everything blessed, What's yeah? Up, yeah? Nice to see you, man. Cool, Nice bro. to see you. So cool. you're out on the turn tonight, yeah? You know, I got to do, um, shooting, um, I'm recording tomorrow. Okay, so what you're recording? Um, done a couple of tracks with UB40. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That's the new film, Black and Blue. This is, this is going to be with Wednesday Snipes. Is this the one you're in? Yeah. It's people like Wayne who I wanted to be alike. The man that wasn't killers. The man that was just, just rude boys on the road. The man that just... 
control the road. There was a crew of us. Many of us was on the road and certain people was in front. And Wayne was one of them. I was drinking at 16. I was snorting coke at 16. I was dropping trips at 16. And like, with the drink and drugs that come violence, Someone threw a stone and it hit my foot. With this thing would have hit my head and busted it. I know it didn't, but it's, it's things like this that it's like you've been dragged back into something that you don't want to be part of. If that would have busted my head, the dead parents would have had to speak up for it. The fucking old man. And it wouldn't be difficult or hard to find out who done it. The box is banking a Roman, yeah? I don't know how they're on the roof. There's about six of them up there on the roof and they're throwing stones and missiles at people as they're walking past. So I ring her and tell her to get her two brats before police lap them up because I don't know how they got on top of the bank. I remember a time when in, in, in um, Roman Road, I'm up by myself really bowling through and and some black geezer, he said to me, he said, you're right, rebel. And it's like, rebel? I thought, God. It's like, uh, he meant the world to me. <laughs> he called me a rebel. Man, I'm a rebel. It's like, he, 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 he made my day. He, he, he made it so much, I'm still thinking about it now. This house on the corner here, this is where I lived. Morville Street, that was my bedroom. Here, I know my life had changed because I got arrested when I was 15 years of age and I told my mum and I told her not to tell me dad. She said to me, I'm going to have to tell your dad. When my dad come in, she told him, he said I had to stay in. And I was like, I'm 15 kind of thing, this is a bit. But you know what? I never got a whack for it, I never got a beating for it. And that's when my life went. If he told me to stay in and I didn't stay in, and I never got a beat, no one else can do anything to me. Muhammad Dad's in the last stage of his life now. He's in the home where he ain't got long to live. And I love him, and I always will love my father for whatever he did do or for whatever he didn't do. I, I, I try to just override some things in life, otherwise we're never gonna move forward. I can't say to him, I, I can't say to him, I can't be there beside him and I can't say to him, I, I, I love you. I, 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 I've tried, but I can't get it to come up. Oi, oi! Oi, son! Yeah, mate, you're cold, oh, boy. You're looking good, you're looking good. Shit, mate. Good, how's it been going? Really well, man. I'm fucking, I'm in mm. university now, son. Smash it out. Yeah. But you and I had something to prove, Wayne. We wanted to belong, didn't we? We wanted yeah. to be in a tribe. And that was the only way we could ever get it where we come from, yeah. was to hurt people. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no one message of us. Yeah. Because we'll hurt yeah. you. <laughs> After smashing someone to bits, or, 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 or your friends are saying, yeah, you're a nut, you are, you're crazy, and, and all them things, it's like, great. The, the, the feeling, the adrenaline was 
it, it was exciting. But when I went home on my own and and and, and I, I, I'm in my own bed, thinking about the situation that has occurred or, or gone on, it became worrying and a p paranoia. It kept going round in my head through life. I've been a very p paranoid person all the way through from a very young age and it has not stopped. Yes, the mountain peaks as you get higher. It only caters for a few, it's their desire. There's a valley for all. Don't you know that everybody wants to reach the top? But no one ever considers the drop while they were chasing money, power and status. Uh, my first proper job was on the, it was on the council, the London Borough of Tower Hamlet. So I put down for a plumbing job and a, 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 and a decorating job. And I worked for seven months and I, 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 I did, did, did not miss one day, no matter if I was sick, no matter if I was on the floor dying, I did not miss one day. But it was the fact of, um, the college, I went to college Hi, one day a week, but I was struggling with the, you know, the reading and the writing side of it. So I ended up getting the sack from the job. Mum? Uh, yes? Mum, would this meat stain come out my clothes? Why didn't you put your penny on? I have a lot of respect for Wayne, he's my bro. He fucked up through life like I did. We met on survival. That's as much as I can say. But if Wayne called me, I will go into my little box. I have my two little friends. I call my two little pieces. I'll be right beside him, if not in front of him, showing people this is where we are. And if they're there the same, I'll stand in front of Wayne and I'll let off a few shots and I don't miss. Some people shoot for the fun of it to scare, I shoot to hit. Um papa, um papa, that's how it goes. Um papa, um papa, everyone knows. They all suppose what they want to suppose when they hear um papa. It's a proper, proper blessing. I used to do volunteering in the class of Blue. He was in L to L. That's the class for the... Angry students. Oh, yeah, for the angry and naughty students. How old are you now? 17. And what are you doing at the moment? I'm um, college, innit? I'm studying what? Business. Okay, so you're trying to find a way out of the grime and... Yeah, man. But it's not like a way out of it, it's a way so I can just be legit while I'm... Yeah, just be legit at what I'm doing. Man. I don't really want to be... That bait guy doing illegal, he's known by the police for illegal shit and that, like, so I'm gonna keep it legit. <laughs> Four years ago, I went to learn like further education to learn English and and um, maths. I was 
struggling. I c c couldn't do the work. And they gave me a, a, a dyslexic test. And they said that I am a dyslexic to a, a high, I don't know what they call it, to, a, to like a high standard, whatever, whatever. But, uh, but, 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 but back in my days of school, if you couldn't do your work like I couldn't do my work, I was classed as an idiot. Hello, El. How are you doing? Lovely. Lovely. This is Elliot. Yeah. This is my brother. This ain't no setup. I've just pulled up in the motor, and this is the real deal here. Yeah. It's a big, big face. Yeah. It's a big, big face. Yeah. Uh, you know, drugs was a way of life because it changed the way that I felt. You know, I didn't want to feel. I was full of fear. What do you do when you back a dog in a corner? It either bites or it curls up and runs. You know? And we've, we've, we've walked the road together. Together, we you have. You know? So definitely. I can smell whiffer saying in the areas we're speaking. Yeah, yeah that's, but, right. Uh, you know, that's right. It's like that, someone's got a road going on. That trigger my, uh, <laughs> you know, my addiction in me anymore. Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? I'm free from that shit. But you know, there's someone out there, they're hiding, they're suppressing the way they feel. They're scared. I've been there. So has he. Where we, where we are is where we are now, you know? Yeah. You keep doing what you're doing, Wayne. And you will. When you've always been a fucking brother to me. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. likewise. Always. Oh, I've lived a life where I've just yeah. constantly cried. I, I, I could watch a film like Lassie or something and, <laughs> and I'll cry because I feel like, you know, seeing people down on their luck, it, it, like it affected me in a lot, a lot of ways because I could relate to hurt or loss or lack of love. I felt, you know, that I just wanted to be loved a bit more than I was loved. Hello, Mum. Can I Food, help you? food. I come for food. I'm hungry. Food. This is yeah. one. Two coppers knocked my door and asked for Wayne. I said, what for? It's something to do with baby kidnapping. I said, do what? What is he going to kidnap people's baby for? He said to me, one of them says to me, um, Wayne was locked up. I was in the cell and there was a black geezer in there. He's an old face, right? And you never, you, 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 you never talk about things like that in places like that because people will, you know, people will let you know what time it is. Yeah, don't talk about a, 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 a abduction to me and little kids. Knife point, mate. I take your head off. I knew he didn't kidnap any child at all. But I said it's a black man that did it. But to them, every black man is look alike. I, 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 the cell door opens up, and I, I've been told that I, um, I've been told that I'm being released, and I've. Being released, okay. I, I left that cell. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, I don't know how I got home. I don't know how I got in there. I don't know anything. Um, my life, it it, it 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 was destroyed. I, 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 out of all the things they could have arrested me. Four day arrested me for the, some sick shit that this brother here is, is not. I'm not on that shit, man. Rips! You alright? You alright, Harry? Oh, where you boy? You alright, yeah? 
good, good, good. Rips, man, you got me hanging. Oh, yes, anyway. No. He, he, he's different. He's always been different. You know, he, he's, uh, as I say, he's a character. Never pass your fire, that's the main thing. I, I respect that. I think I still got your record. <laughs> yeah, I will. I, I, and, I, and I've asked the red one. I take the train. <laughs> you yeah. read that? Yep, yep. From the east side. Let's try this one for the east side. When's the last time you listened to that track? I haven't listened to them. This is the first time I've heard or seen this. I don't know, man. It's just, it brings back a lot of memories, you know, and mm. like, um, I basically, it's like, this, this was the light. So that was a time, you know, before, so Massive Attack first started doing all their stuff and, uh, you know, as you know, we heard Horace Brown and whatever, yeah, and then Wayne came along and it was like, wow, this man, he's got a voice, man. This man's got a voice. I was in a, a pub drinking as I was doing at that time and um, I was... Singing as well? Yeah, I was uh, singing away. On the spot, you know, just anywhere, singing. I saw Jeremy there and he said to me he'd like to hear me sing one time or when I haven't had a, a drink and that because I was a bit like roaring a bit over the place at the time. I've seen him one time and after we said like a bye bye and that and I said, I thought to myself, oh, I said, oh yeah. I said, I haven't had a drink, by the way. And I started singing like, Oh, pirates, yes, they rob I sold out to the merchant ships. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, listen, hear what? If you've got a bit of time, like, come down there. I'll try you out in the studio, see what you like and everything like that. And we started writing from then. Wayne, obviously, you know, he will do one take and it'd be spot on and then it will do another take and it wouldn't be spot on and then I'd be thinking what's going on why why isn't it not why can't he do it but obviously I didn't understand at that time what it, you know what it was it yeah, was yeah, you know yeah. what I mean I didn't I couldn't I didn't understand because I'd never you know I can't I've never been there mm. in that sense and I remember two was like this you know oh Wayne yeah, Wayne I, I, I was dry for a period I, I, I was clean I, I, I was healthy and I was fresh and and you know I, I slipped off I fell at a certain hurdle and I've ended up stealing on the way into the studio you know to get back my money for the smoke get back my money for the drink I need I'm thinking all kinds of things now I want to smoke after I come out of the studio and then I want money for a drink is a Every time I think about it, I cry, and that's it, that's it. Many, many years ago, I was the living dead. But this music was my only thing that I thought that maybe one day I'd be able to do one more, one more record, have one more, listen to my voice one more time on the radio. That was my only, like, thing that, that was that light, that was that light, that was the light that was shining, there was nothing else there, and at times when that light went out, it was, it, it was just the darkness. And there was time there was a period of bump into him and uh, I could see um, he was on gear, you know, but then two or three times I seen him, he was bad. And even then he came round to my house. I remember he was round my house one night, but it, he was a bit high with one of his mates about in the crack. And then later on he came round a couple of times, wanting to see us, but this time it wasn't just to see me, he was wanting money for the for the gear, you know. So I, I'd had enough. I said, no man, you know what I mean? Um, you're welcome at my house anytime, 
but when you're straight, you know what I mean? I says, um, if you, you can basically fuck off, I don't want you coming around here asking me money for crack, and, and that's it. Remember the house like they used to say, yeah, hey, come up, and then they went in the kitchen and they done what they did. And I'm in the sitting room, and I tell them I see him come back what in What did they do in the kitchen? They're taking the crack. A little shocky there, a little shocky. Full clock. Shocky! What's going on, P? You all right? On? You OK, yeah? yeah? Everything blessed, yeah? I've right, changed their lifestyle there, bud. Take care. Yeah. Back in the day, when I was younger, I didn't know that my old life was going to go under. I used to see the lightning in the sky. I used to see the thunder. I just sit there with my back against the wall. I wonder. Hey, what the man say when you take your life away? Hey, what the man say is too different man here today. Hey, hey, hey. We can be a good inspiration to all the other suffering people out there, because that's what we are. We're thieving and nicking and doing our drugs. We're suffering. We're so far gone, we don't even realise until you get clean again in your head. I grew up to be an a, 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 a angry person inside. Even though people, my mum and might not have seen that, I've got anger, issues within me. He was 32 when I met him, so he was still, so that's a long period of time to be drinking from 16 up till 32. Yeah, 32, and then still drinking another four and a half years after that. And then he finally put the can down, and that was because um, initially he got, he, he got refused from a crack house. That's saying something, like that's the devil's door you're knocking at, and you're not getting in. So that really had a big impact on Wayne, and um, he come home, and I remember him coming home with two... Two, I think it was two cans of um, super, like, tenants drink. I think he drunk them or he drunk one of them. And, yeah, and he said, that's it, I'm putting it down, that's it. And from that day, yeah, there's drink just... I'd love to shake that man's hand who never let him in because there's that door shut, a million more opened. The devil don't want me like he wanted me before I was fighting in the middle of the devil he was the need of my lifetime supply. I loved what I couldn't get away from. Why would I want to be you? He was the best thing at the time. Drinking and smoking and cracking my mind away. I feel like I've lost a big section of my life and I say to my kids every day before they, you know, before they go to school or in the morning before that they leave the house, I say to them, "I love you," and to have and to have a to have a, a good good day, you know, because I want them to know that I love you and and. To let them know no, this word exists. You think you're missed? Well, let me tell you this the love I felt for you has flown away. And all you see here, oh, how you done to me. So all I can ask is why, why you... He had children from previous relationships, but um, it didn't, you know, it didn't, he didn't see them. Only one of them, he, he was in their life up until he was about five or six, and then he didn't have any contact. I was, I was in a dark place, and you see some of my, the darkest... That's what's put me down moment. the right path. Seeing all the bad things that you and mummy had to go through. Well, you know what? If if that's the case, I'm glad I went down them paths. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. 
I'm happy for you too. Well, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Well, I'm so proud of you. You know that. I remember when I was younger, my dad was still drinking. I remember the night um, when he come home and he was like really depressed and mum come in and she hid like all the knives and stuff and stuff under my bed so he couldn't get to it and then um, he went out and he went over to the wasteland. Lee come down to me and banged on the door. I was like, Carl, Carl, Wayne, Wayne's, Wayne said he's, he's had enough, he's, he's going to go and kill himself. And, so where's he gone? She said he's over the wasteland. So she kind of already kind of phoned the police and that, and we come running over here, and we just kind of, you know, he was nowhere to be seen. And then the police was coming over as well, and they was all over here, and they were just shining the torches, because this, this was just a wall here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It? it was a wall, man. It. It, it was just a wall, wall man. It? it was a wall. And there, and there you was, man, just hanging on, hanging on for your life, literally, hanging on to your life. Mm. on that bit of chain coming out the wall where they used to tie the boats up with, man. And yeah, fucking lucky fella, man. Lucky fella, you know? And I was going down, I know I yeah, was going down. Yeah, you even put down. bricks in your pockets. Really? Yeah, did you not know that? No, I didn't know that. You put that. bricks in your pockets, man. No, I didn't know that. And you was in? I didn't know that. I, 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 I do remember going down. I think the cold kind of livened me up and I, 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 had, I, I had my life, my life was flashing before me, in front of me, and I, I, I knew I was dead. So, you know, if it weren't for you, and if it weren't for Lee, I wouldn't be here, do you know what I mean? And I, I really, I take this moment to, you know, I take this moment to thank you. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Very, 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 very much, you know what I mean? I proper, I use my life. Glory, 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 hallelujah. This is some of the things that I used to do when I was drying out. This is the first one I ever done, a tough dog. And that was the first one I ever done with this. I was becoming dry. It kept my mind in a place where it was quite comfortable. The 10th of the 1st, 1999. I'd done that in Pennonville. I spent about um, four weeks, something like that. This represents my, um, well, my mind, the state of my mind, where, where it was, what was flowing from it. He went on his knees, man. He was on his knees. That's how deep he went down, you know, when he was on the drink. And, and everything else, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, he was on uh, everything else and you know, the man was on his knees. I put all my rehabs into one. At home? Yeah, all my clinics, I put them all into one in my mind and I said, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put every egg into this basket. Yeah. I ain't leaving one out this time. Mm -mm. You understand? Mm -mm. If this time it don't work, well I'm better off dead anyway. You know, without belief in this world that we're living in, it's an absolute disaster, isn't it? As for me personally. The first time I come in Switzerland, I can't really remember, but it was a, a while back, I must say. Yeah, I love it here. I love it, it really is. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel a bit selfish though that I'm, I'm here and like seeing all these, like kids and that, that my kids are not here and my girl, you know, I feel a bit selfish. Ah, there's a black skier. Look. I, 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 I was taken up to the, taken up to the ski slope. And that really threw me, because I've never been to a ski slope before. Why can't we live together? How I wonder. Oh, how I wonder. Oh, how I wonder. 
Oh, how I wonder. I, I was on a big data showcase with a few of the other groups from Big Data Ninja Tunes. When I saw Wayne for the first time, it was backstage of the Lusine in Genève. Et on l'entend en chanter, surtout dans les loges en a cappella, euh, pas dans un contexte de, de concert. On a, on a senti, euh, enfin, Christophe et Pierre à l'époque ont senti une émotion tellement forte qu'ils se sont dit, euh, voilà, on, on doit travailler avec ce type. No food or no water, ain't got no shelter, where is the laughter, where is the love? En fait, il était très euh, euh, étonné qu'on s'intéresse à lui. Et puis, euh, euh, et puis nous, on était très étonnés qu'il soit étonné qu'on s'intéresse à lui. Sa voix, ça c'est sûr qu'elle m'a inspiré dès le début. Enfin, elle m'a touché. Dès que j'ai entendu cette voix, je me suis dit, waouh. Oh, pirates, yes, they were by. Oh, oh. oh man. Not long to go, man, not long to go. Pour lui, ce n'était pas une partie de rigolade de monter sur scène. Ça représentait vraiment un truc très violent et puis euh, il avait un trac fou. Moi-même, j'ai le trac, donc je comprends très bien le truc. Mais là, on, on sentait que ça prenait... Ce n'était pas qu'il allait faire l'artiste, là, juste pour, pour rigoler. Non, c'était vraiment un truc euh, euh, qui prenait une importance terrible pour lui. Quoi. Il joue sa vie, quoi, en gros. Oui, je pense que ça a plus été des hauts et des bas, mais il y a plusieurs euh, euh, personnes de référence dans l'industrie euh, euh, de la musique indépendante qui l'ont repéré, qui ont identifié son talent et qui ont eu envie de le pousser. Ce sera Roots Maneuver sur certains de ses albums, ce sera Lotte Kifi à l'époque, euh, c'est le label Big Dada avec Will Ashen. Et, et, et ça, c'est des gens qui, dans le fond, euh, soutiennent son travail et croient en lui. Et puis après, il y a les aléas de, de la carrière et puis euh, les obstacles. Le, la drogue et je pense que la rencontre avec euh, ces élevettes au bord de leur lac plat euh, a permis dans une certaine mesure à Wayne de trouver euh, une motivation supplémentaire à sortir de, de ces problèmes de, de drogue et arriver à aboutir des albums entiers sous son nom, monter sur scène comme un lead act et, et, et euh, aller essayer de retrouver un, un succès euh, plus serein. What's going on, Ash? You all right? Yeah, you're good. You all right, Mrs. Simon? You okay, yeah? And Afterfan. So you're taking your exercise, Mum? Afterfan Simon, he's the one I, um, I turned to, you know, when it comes to writing, um, when it comes to writing our songs, the songs for the album. Time coming in. It makes me sort of gives me goosebumps, and it like it's amazing to see him like doing so good. Do you know what I mean? Expressing himself and giving people that like his feelings. You know what I mean? And it, it is powerful. Well, I used to worry about him, but I'm so so proud of him now. So so proud of him. Seriously, hearing you've done an album and all. Oh, oh my you. god. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so proud of you. <laughs> The album, I don't know if people are gonna gonna really realise there's no way of going as deep as as you know, you'd have to have seen him or get some pictures of him, do you know what I mean, back in the day to uh, to understand what this dude was like, do you know what I mean? Hello, you alright, yeah? You been good, darling? Your tooth came out. Oh good. I think what he is doing with his writing of his songs and um, singing, 
he's getting away from a lot. When I jump off the plane in Geneva, I come into a different world. I'm in a different world. I'm in a different place. C'est un contraste pour la Suisse, disons qu'avec le côté petite maisonnette, nain de jardin sur l'arc lémanique. Christophe travaille par exemple à son studio à côté du lac. C'est pratiquement une carte postale ambulante, où il travaille un peu reclus dans un petit un petit studio que moi moi me fait penser à un studio plus d'adolescent, mais avec 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 la force et la détermination nécessaire à produire des œuvres fantastiques. Et Wayne, il est dans, dans un contexte très différent, très urbain, avec ses contrastes de la grande ville. It vibes to the bone, straight from the heart. Wayne Poole is like a, a uncle, big brother figure in my life. I think he was lucky that he's turned his life around and he's bounced back, come back from hell, as we say. He's done a lot, like, as an artist, as a father, as a role model, as a strong black man in East London, like, he, he has done a lot. The music, it's motivated me to have that belief that maybe one day something will come from it. But I've kind of come to this, I kind of come to the stage now where I'm thinking to myself, like, it's not working for you. I'm doing six man job and getting one last pay. I've been working now, I've been working there. I've been working now, I've been working, I've been working, I've been working, I'm a workaholic. You're doing shows and I'm not, you're getting paid for, it's quite downheartening. You know, it's like a promotion, promotion, promotion. I've been, <laughs> I've been doing like, like shows now from low tech hi-fi and, and like, like, and like I'm further back and it's always been a promotion. One. Again? One, one. So you're kind of doing the hook, in it, and then the yeah, rapper, yeah. yeah, then the rapper's kind of That's coming it. in. Before I lose faith in the things that I do, first I must believe what I'm doing is true. That's why I set my goal. I'm not really um, prepared or we're willing to talk about how how I get through life and how I don't get through life like that because right about now what I do to survive I need to keep on doing until um, there's a time when hopefully I can move away from the things that I do. I don't enjoy doing what I do do. The world I'm living in now, I class it as heaven. But the thing about this heaven is reality. And with reality, I can't escape it because I'm not drinking, I'm not taking drugs. It's all, it's an impact on me. It's just, everything is just compressed, compressed, compressed. The saint has got a past. The sinner has got a future, and that is Wayne. Uh, there's a series like We Wounded Angels, she's got the innocence in them, like a child, you know, they're malicious, it's like an innocence. Sometimes it can be that innocence that can lead you down the wrong path as well, something, that's maybe what happened to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like to see people smiling. Maybe because I didn't do a lot, a lot, a lot of it myself when I really, when I really, wanted to, and it don't hurt to be nice. It don't cost nothing. 